right? And you make it similar, it's that way. You have, you, someone writes an interesting blog and all of a sudden, a thousand other blogs link to it, right? The, 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 this is something that could happen. But maybe you look and say, if it's in the comment section, I'm less likely to, to follow that link, right? The links that are generated um, by, by, um, by actual, um, by the comments you trust us. So what you do is you create a, you create a new blog. That these, you'll, you'll send out bots which go and create blogs, write fake entries in the blog so they look actually like an active blog, and they'll provide links within the blog. And then they'll try and link to this other blog post in the comments, and then that blog will link to here. So you can have a hierarchy of these, of these links. Um, and, and, and typically you don't have these all these connections. So these interconnections are not helpful. You want to send all of as much weight to the target as possible. So you may have a few layers to try and hide this. Um, but this is still maybe a structure that Google will search the web and, and try and detect the structure. If they, they're sending these crawlers out, and if they notice some structure that looks like this, they will try and realize it and then blackball it and take it out of their um, rank it lower some or reduce his page. So that's that's one kind of way, and that's kind of a you know a less clean way of dealing with this. But um, it it prevents the worst cases, and then the more you have to layer it, the less the harder it is to kind of actually get a high page rank because of text. Um, so there's there's another way that's a little bit more principled, um, and this is called. Um, trust rank. And so this is a slight change to um, taxation. So instead of jumping to a random node, you jump to certain nodes more likely. So, in, so it would be QI plus 1 maybe equals 1, one minus beta PQI plus beta 1 um, um, but this part is just 1 over n everywhere, and plus um, beta 2, so maybe this is minus beta 1 minus beta 2 in here. So this, these all add up to 1. Um, and this one is has some zeros in it, but um, it, has, it links to some pages. And these are going to be some set of pages that you trust. So, um, um, Beta 2 is for um, um, trusted web pages. Okay, so, so these could be like, um, like Wikipedia, um, um, pages that ended in .edu. Um, I know some of you have maybe Utah.edu pages which are, you know, you know, kind of stupid stuff on them. Um, and that's fine, but most of them are pretty trustworthy usually. Um, so, so I know some universities have policies that you can't, you can't uh, make money on your university web page. Um, I had a friend who, who wrote like a, a page that was like a, a tribute page to some obscure actor, and he put ads on it. And then, and then he got in trouble. Um, so you shouldn't, shouldn't do that. It's because they'll use these trusted web pages. And there's there's some kind of I, also the universities don't want to be hosting this weird stuff. Um, um, and also like pages from the government, stuff like this. These are trusted web pages, and so pages that you kind of have a good sense that you can trust. You know these these could still be compromised sometimes, but they're harder to. Okay, so then you compute this. If you are sometimes you jump to these trusted pages, you still sometimes jump to a random page. You don't want to completely give this up. But you sometimes also jump to just one of the trusted pages. Now, you can only get, because you're taxing about, say, the 1 minus beta 1 plus beta 2 is, is still maybe 90% of the time. So you can still only get about 10 web pages away from one of these trusted pages. But there are lots of studies like this, the, the, the degree of separation of the web, and you really only need about 10 jumps to get anywhere. So, so this, this, this really is a good, a fair, you're, you're still able to get most places even if you jump to a trusted page. So, so then you compute this, 
this different, this is now defines a different Markov chain. Right? And you can compute the Q star state for this trust ring. So you could get a, you could get the regular Q star um, and the Q star maybe T, right? This is from the from the trust ring. And so one option is you just use this trust ring version. Um, and this might not, you know, this may have issues because it's biasing maybe towards towards even more so towards like Wikipedia and stuff. So you're much more likely to hit something in Wikipedia. So maybe you don't want to bias towards these EDU web pages or the government web pages. Um, so what you do is you say if the regular page rank and the and the and the and the trust rank are similar, then it's probably not a violated page. But if, if the regular page rank is much larger than the trust rank, it's probably spam. Right, so if this is much bigger than this, um, this is probably spent. So you don't want to totally discount it just because it's not on your, you know, Wikipedia. I mean, you don't want to bias too much towards them. But you, this will allow you to detect spam if these are too far apart. And this is pretty hard. You know, you can still you can still put comments on some of these pages, and you can still use this to get linked to your pages, but these are harder to, to violate. And by skewing the transition this little bit, you can, um, you, can uh, um, you can detect the difference between these and get a good sense of what is spent. Now you have to build this, this set of which are the trusted pages, but you know, maybe you can have a, there's probably a way to do this without too much, uh, you can store this in your hard drive without too much problem. So, um, Okay, so so this is this is the basics of how uh, how um, how PageRank works. So we'll talk. Let's see. Just to recap, um, on Monday we will no on Wednesday we'll talk about um, MapReduce, which is kind of the, the infrastructure of how um, this PageRank is computed, and a lot of other stuff as well. And then we'll talk about how to use MapReduce on next Monday to compute PageRank. And go through that in more detail and some other like matrix step operation.